good morning welcome to nifty prediction to join my whatsapp group i am charging 350 rupees per month uh, you will get well in advance those prediction as well as yesterday uh, about uh, i have given one key after around 12 o'clock around nifty broken the key level of 10976 so don't hold any call option uh, in hand due to that the next target will be 10867 because this is the key level as per my data if it is breaking that level it has high chance to reach 10867 i have given at 12 o'clock like this you will get a uh, calls and uh, um, buying some levels so you will get well in advance before it happens and exactly that is what happened and the nifty almost reached that level 10881 low market has closed in the negative 138 points around 10980 it has closed 1.24% in the negative opened around 11060.20 and high went around 11076.75 let's go to my prediction review uh, in my prediction the ratio is indicating he be down 5 is to 10 but the average evenly poised and absolute frequency evenly poised is a fresh month but weightage is having on the positive direction but negative is also 3.3 percent so we need to play cautiously i told because of these two ranges whenever it comes all three results are possible uh, so that is the reason i have told and the ranges also it has indicated as uh, those kind of uh, three uh, i mean uh, evenly poise range came means uh, we need to play with cautious not why because if anything opens on the negative due to pivot uh, is in the mid of support level 1 and uh, support level 2 so if it is opens like that and if it is not breaking previous closing means it will go down down and uh, again down that is what i told in my video and exactly happened the the key indication is that uh, the market has broken the key level that is what the most important thing uh, if you check these two range um, we have a huge gap almost 120 points that is what i told the stop loss level is got it 10976 so once it is hitting 10976 then at next target will be 10867 that is what i indicated in my group you can check so if we know this kind of thing the stop loss level of 10976 and the range is shown 10986 with adding stop loss level is 10976 so it has almost reached the next target of 10867 almost 110 points it has fall down 100 points so this kind of ideas will get it has fallen down almost close to it 13 points difference it has closed down to 10881 13 14 points difference uh, let's and it it has recovered after that low it has fastly recovered from that level almost 100 points why because it is purely due to this weight it has weightage on the positive side that is the reason it has recovered almost 100 points and 120 points it has closed in the range of 980 Ten thousand nine eighty range. It has closed, you know, which is nothing but you can see the negative average and the support levels. All, almost in the support level four. So all are on the same range. It has closed in that particular range. Let's go to the prediction for Friday. On the Friday ratio is indicating negative side seven is to nine. average indicating positive 3 is to 0 absolute frequency indicating positive 4 is to 3 and weight is indicating positive 3.48% versus 1.79% but only key point is that, that, that uh, this absolute frequency 4 is to 3 the gap is around 1 point so normally if it is comes like that means uh, it it may go on the other direction as well uh, so it will show a typical like some kind of a volatile as well because the weightage and the average is indicating positive but ratio is indicating negative 
so it is indicating a bit volatile but at the same time this absolute frequency having only one point difference so it, uh, normally if it shows positive means it may go in the opposite direction as well so it, it is typical kind of a volatile market once again but uh, subject to clearing the previous closing so if if uh, it may open in the negative and go down a bit but it needs to break the previous closing and that is the example on the other hand it may open in the positive uh, but it needs to break the previous closing if the previous closing is not breaking either side if opens in the negative and if it is not crossing the previous closing it may go down to negative range as well i'll i'll example i'll give an example with this for example uh, this is the previous closing if market has opened somewhere in the 40 50 points in the downside uh, after that it may go down to uh, uh, support level 2 a bit it may uh, get support around 10,900 range if it after that if it is not breaking um, um, the this previous close after going down after if it is not breaking that particular uh, level uh, after going down to support level 2 if it is getting support this particular level uh, market has opened in the negative range around 40 50 points uh, but after going down uh, if it is getting support and recovering from that low and it needs to break this particular previous closing then only it will go towards to the positive side so this is the one pr uh, principle if it is not breaking the this level the market may go down even further downside on the other hand, this kind of data, if the market is open on the positive side, uh, it, it may go up a bit towards to some level. After that, if it, if it is coming down, means it, it has to break previous close. Otherwise, if it is not breaking that previous close, it may go up even further upside. So, these two ranges are one parameter on the other hand example if the market is open on the 40 50 points in the downside uh, due to uh, because we have mixed data so as per uh, right now the HSFT is also trading around 50 points in the downside so it may open here and it may go down a bit uh, towards to the negative somewhere around 10,000 uh, 900 range after getting support in the support level 2 we are having three support level 2 so it may get support and go towards to the positive side due to weight is having on the high range it may end up somewhere around uh, 11,030 and closed in the positive range it may go up to resistant level 2 as well uh, 11,062 then after that it may get uh, resist somewhere around closing in the range of 11,030 uh, 11,025 range let's see how the market is going to give us on um, uh, Friday and one more key point I would like to point out is that these two ranges we need to watch out because this is the bearish range I mean uh, this is the open um, yeah, and this is actually uh, not the open target this is the open target 10,892 uh, if anything breaks that level 10,892 uh, minus 10 points which means 10,882 this is the open target level for the various so anyone can keep stop loss this level and go for a buy and on the other end the maximum 11,100 so 11,111 0.05 this is the open target for bullish if anything breaks that level market will become bullish if this particular level 11,096 is not breaking 11,096 is not breaking then market will try to come down so uh, if we keep stop loss at that particular level 11,106 106.89 so this level you can keep stop loss 8 six and keep stop loss and uh, go for a short but normally what happens is this kind of market it may ended up in the positive after even after opening the negative around 40 50 points it may go on to some extent uh, 
मे बी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एटी पॉइंट्स आफ्टर दैट इट विल कम अप एंड क्लोज इन द पॉजिटिव रेंज लेट्स सी हाउ द मार्केट इज गोइंग टू गिव अस ऑन फ्राइडे